Here's a problem that's a variant of something that we've dealt with before in our stock valuation section. And recall that when we're doing stock valuation, what we typically do is start with estimates of expected future cash flows, insert a discount rate um, into a, a big present value formula. Solve for present value, that's our estimate of intrinsic value. And so that just basically tells us what uh, price should be. So we're using the same framework here, but we are flipping things around just a little bit. And the key here is this assumption of market efficiency. And recall that market efficiency just means that uh, the price that we observe in the markets our best possible estimate of intrinsic value. And so we're gonna use um, a valuation framework, um, rearrange the formula solving for the discount rate, insert the market price, and then uh, the, the R that we find is our estimate for the required rate of return. And so in this particular problem, note that we have a, a D1 right here, so that's our next dividend, and then constant future growth of 1% per year. So we've got a, a G uh, there. And so we know that uh, the Gordon model applies so the price should be that first dividend divided by the discount rate minus the growth rate and so what are we doing here we are turning this around and solving for r so let's solve this thing for r so if you solve algebraically for r you have d1 over d plus G, right? And so now we've got all of these numbers that we can uh, insert and go. So there's our dividend, there's our growth rate, and there is our uh, market determined price. And so this becomes the following. We've got $2.70 in the numerator here. Divide that by the price. Add the growth rate. And we get 13.73%. There's the answer. That is our estimate for the stock's required rate of return.